Hello and welcome to this Neat Video tutorial in which we're looking at some of the additional filters inside of Neat Video's Reduced Noise version 4. And in this tutorial we're specifically looking at the slow shutter function. Now, occasionally, because of various reasons to do with cameras, to do with frame rate changes, whatever it might be, occasionally video ends up with repeated frames or with noise that appears to be repeated one frame to the other. Now this can cause Neat Video a problem because if there are repeated frames with repeated noise, it's possible that Neat Video may see that noise as being a feature rather than noise, with the end result that it doesn't do as good a job as you would hope when actually doing the noise reduction. So to help deal with this, we've now got the slow shutter function as an option. Now it doesn't mean you should use it every time, but it certainly is worth trying if you have the sort of problems that we're talking about. Now, thankfully, Neat Video gives you great feedback so you can see if it's worth trying the slow shutter function. Now, I mentioned that occasionally changing a frame rate can add repeated frames. This particular example has got exactly that. 12 and a half frames to 25, it's a slow-mo, it's got repeated frames. It's probably more common, perhaps, if you're going from 25 frames a second to 29.97, or you're changing frame rates of some sort. But whatever, you've got a repeated frame, Neat Video can actually detect that. So I've got Neat Video applied to this clip and I'm just going to click prepare. And you'll see that if I go to the noise filter settings here, that a profile has already been made. And you'll see that we've already enabled slow shutter. Now I should say slow shutter is only available in the advanced mode. If you go to the standard mode, it isn't there. Okay, so do bear in mind that you need to go to Tools, Advanced Mode, and you can see Slow Shutter. And we can enable and disable Slow Shutter. But when should you try Slow Shutter? You should try Slow Shutter when you see this yellow rep on the preview down here. Now, it could be, in this particular case, it's every other frame. But it could be that one frame with multiple reps could be after it. There's various times you'll see it. And when you see a yellow rep like this, it means you may get a better result if you try slow shutter. You may not, but hopefully you will, so it's worth a try. So what's going on here? Well, if I click on this frame here, and then I click on the next one, you can see that there's virtually no difference between the two frames. And I go on to the next frame, and there's no difference between those two. And effectively, Neat Video is saying, hey, hang on a second, I've got potentially repeated frames. I'm not sure. Um, is this a feature? Is this noise? How do we deal with it? Well, the first thing to say is, if you think you've got this, do go to your temporal settings and increase the radius so that Neat Video is looking beyond just the next frames. You can see in this particular example, it's one frame and five. If I pull backwards with my mouse wheel there, you can see it's one frame, the actual frame it's on, and the five before and the five after to give a better estimation of what's noise and what's feature. However, we might also want to try the slow shutter. So I'm going to enable slow shutter with its automatic settings. So it's automatically said it thinks it should reduce it by 50%, which would seem right because every other frame is 50%. And manual is its standard mode. There is an adaptive mode, but that's more for specialized applications whereby the repeat frames may vary in number throughout the shot. But we're going to stick with manual for this particular example. If you want more details, do always remember you've got a help function here. So you can click on help and there's lots of things to help you. Incidentally, if you want to discover more about repeat frames, there is actually a web page on the Neat Video website, which is neatvideo.com and then forward slash examples repeated frames.html examples repeated frames.html, which actually gives a lot more detail about what's going on here. OK, just so you're aware that is actually there. Now, if you notice, if I enable this and disable it, look at the noise. I'm going to zoom in to sort of two, 300%. OK, and I'm going to, it's enabled now. So this is with slow shutter, and that's without slow shutter. So you can see there is actually a lot more noise without than with. Now, we happen to know that this is a 50%, it's, it's half speed, so 50% makes a lot of sense in this particular example. But you can try going to lower versions and see if it makes a difference to the overall look. However, if you go too low, 
chances are you're going to start losing detail. So try and find what's going to give you the best results and don't go any lower. 50% seems to do a superb job here. You could potentially go a little bit lower, but do bear in mind at some point you're actually going to start to lose detail. So I'm going to leave that at 50% and again before and after. You can see that that has made a massive difference. I'm going to zoom back out again and uh, see if you can see at this level. I don't know if my video compression will work, but that's before. There's a lot of noise in there and after. Okay, so that's slow shutter taking into account repeated frames. Occasionally, you will see down here a white copy. If you see white copy, Neat Video is saying, I already know that there are copied frames here. You don't need to do anything. So if you see white copy, just ignore it. But if you see the yellow rep, try slow shutter. And of course, if it doesn't work, you can always disable it again. Okay, so that's the first example. The second example is to do with in-camera noise reduction. Now, some cameras have night function or slow shutter functions. And slow shutter functions can actually reduce the frame rate, which means that it then uses repeated frames. And also, it tries to control the noise. So it tries to control the noise one frame to another. In doing so, the noise kind of can look the same one frame to another and then suddenly dramatically change a, a few frames down. So you need to be a, a little bit careful when you're using these in-camera noise reduction in the fact that it can cause some problems. And this is one example. So this is the size we're looking at. So I'm going to, again, select the layer and I'm going to go into the Neat Video Reduce Noise 4, click Prepare, and we can see here is the shot before filtering. We've built a noise profile already, so if I just click the noise filter, there it is with its filter applied, and you'll see that slow shutter is actually applied. And again, I'm going to just make this a little bit bigger so we can get a, a better view of it. I'm going to zoom in a bit more. I'm going to zoom right in, and I'm going to zoom in so we can see this, this, this girl's head, and we can get a feel for what the noise is. Now, disabling slow shutter. That's what it looks like before slow shutter. Now we have done, notice, a temporal radius of 5, and it's important, by the way, if you think slow shutter is needed, make sure that you do increase the temporal radius so that you're doing your best to actually deal with noise that goes across multiple frames. But once you've actually dealt with the radius, you can still have a problem because if you look down here, you'll see that actually from one frame to the next two, the noise is going to look pretty similar. So if I click on this frame, we're looking at it next frame, that looks similar. Notice, by the way, the video underneath is changing, but the noise looks pretty similar. So the noise hasn't changed a great deal, even though you can clearly see this, this girl's hair is moving. However, when I go to this next frame, you'll see that the noise is quite dramatically different, one to the next. So you, you've got a big noise change, and again, I can go down to here, probably a big noise change, yeah, you've got quite a big noise change. Whereas between frames, the noise seems to change very little. And again, Neat Video is turning around and saying, I don't know, is this a feature? Is this noise? You need to help me out. And that's when you try slow shutter. So we turn on slow shutter, and then, bear in mind we're staying in the manual mode, you can actually then play around with the frame rate. Now, 25% is about the right area that we need to be in. If I take it back up to 50%, 50% says every other frame. Notice, quite a lot of noise has re-emerged by taking it back up to 50%. So what you want to do is just pull it down until you're getting a nice smooth result. Now, when you go right to the end here, say I went down to zero and say that would do it, I'm going to lose a lot of detail. I'll smooth the image out to a point where it might even be unusable. So you do need to be careful that you only take it down as low as you need to to get a good result. So if I pull it back up to 25%, 40%, percent no, 40 40's definitely got a lot of noise in there, 33 30%, still got some, 10%, I think it's too low. So 25% so seems to do the best possible result for us. So I'm just going to turn it on and off again. So that's it applied, and that's before. And you can see there is a big, big difference. And I'm going to zoom out so we can see the whole frame now. So with slow shutter applied, and I'm going to turn it off again, and possibly you can see quite a lot of noise has been added back in. So when you see anything with this yellow rep in it, it means try slow shutter. Use the manual mode, which is the default mode, and move the slider just till you get the results you're looking for. And remember that if you take it too low, you might start to reduce actual features inside of your video. 
but you can also see that this is a really powerful effect which has been added in reduced noise version 4 that can make the video much much better I hope you found this tutorial useful and that you'll start using slow shutter if you ever see this rep in any of your video previews. My name's Andrew Davis and thanks for watching.